How's it going guys, Ilya 59 here and welcome to the 91 rated theme of the match day, Takashi Inoue play review. What a great set of run from Japan in this World Cup. You know, literally I wasn't expecting as much from them, but they did quite a lot. You know, went to, to the round of 16 and they unfortunately got knocked out by Belgium. However, they played a great game, they were up 2-0. But my money was on Belgium and they went through. We do expect them to do a lot of great things in, the world, in this World Cup since they've got a lot of talented squad. However, this guy right here has been phenomenal for Japan in this World Cup. You know, he's already got himself a Team of the Magic card earlier. And then this is the second one. And it just looks quite insane. If you talk about the card, I mean, it's as good as Team of the Season card. You know, it's on the, their standard. And if you look at his stats, 95 pace, 97 dribbling, 95 shooting, 94 passing, and 80 physical is just ridiculous and then he's also from quite a good league you know obviously la liga got himself some great players there and you can obviously link him with them and then he's also got himself three star weak foot with three star skill moves quite decent and then you know medium medium work rate and on the whole this guy is quite fantastic for the price that he's going for and looking further into the car he just looks quite broken i mean if you look at his pace very very rapid obviously 19 acceleration 90 sprint speed 95 overall just quite good and then also got himself some phenomenal shooting stats 97 positioning 93 finishing 93 shot power and 99 long shots i mean we did see his shot against belgium and it was quite good so you know i mean he is very worthy of those long shots and he's also got himself great passing 95 vision 90 crossing and then you know very decent short passing as well with great uh, curve which is 99 obviously very useful and then his dribbling is quite phenomenal however i don't really understand how it's 97 because he's got himself 75 reactions with 85 composure but i mean if you look at his dribbling it's just quite good you know i mean 19 agility 19 balance 93 ball control and 99 dribbling yourself and i mean these are the stats that you need you know for your offensive players his aerial ability not the best jumping is quite good however not there you know the accuracy is not there but physicality on the whole quite decent you know with 99 stamina which is great 70 strength and 67 aggression which is low but on the whole like i said this card is quite good for the price that he's going for and you do expect him to do a lot of great things for you and this guy right here is on the level of Ronaldo's, the Messi's, the Lozano's, the Hazards of this game. I mean, you do, you give them the ball and he, you know, you just expect him to do a lot of great things. I mean, you can see from that goal right there and that's only one clip how great he was for me and how he great he is. And I was able to do a lot of great things for me. I was playing him on 4-4-2 formation as a left mid. I mean, I could have tried him on 4-3-2-1 formation as well, but I didn't really like that. You know, I just wanted to have him on the flank and just cut it inside and i always say that you know for the flanks you do need a pacey player and this guy right here with the pace that he possesses and his dribbling stats he's just phenomenal and i mean the the, the positives that stood out the most for me were his pace his agility his dribbling and his positioning his pace is just you know it's just insane no one can catch him obviously you could see from uh, the goals i was able to score it just you know he just goes past away the defender and they're not really able to catch him you don't they're not even close and that's really nice to see his agility is also quite good with the balance that he possesses 19 and agility 19 and balance and i mean we do know dribbling how important that is you know and uh, also the composure that yes he he's quite good doesn't lose the ball is always on the ball the ball stays right on his feet and uh, i mean he's just able to do great things his positioning is also quite fantastic i mean he did come short a bit at times which it was a bit annoying but on a whole is great you know i mean it's uh, i think it's around 97 and you know with the 93 finishing that he has on him is he's just great you know he stays in his positions have a lot of great shots and uh, his shot buff is also quite fantastic you see i was able to you know hit a lot of uh, load ribbons and he was actually scoring them since he hits them very very hard and then his dribbling on a whole is just quite fantastic and the negatives that, that i was able to see was his heading his reaction his strength and his aggression his strength is decent it's 70 however it's not the best you know he, he does get pushed aside easily but the pace that he possesses a lot of times he just you know he actually gets away so it's hard for the defender to catch him his heading ability like i said jumping is great but the heading is really poor his reaction is also, also quite you know low 75 only so they're not nice and aggression also very low since you know and also got himself medium medium very great but on the whole this card is great you know he, he does a lot of great things you know he's also a great player to cross the ball in and the cards i think are quite similar i promise and granbury you know very very similar you know also has that quite similar all of them and I mean, you have a car right here, you know, that looks like a team of the season, which is very, very cheap. So you should definitely give it a try. But that was it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one.